Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with a Godot Wild Jam. This is the 17th game jam with the theme Second Chance. There were some diversifiers, and you can check out the jam page if you want to know more about that. I'll be playing each game for about a minute, 10 per video. Links to individual games will be in the description so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description so you can check me out as well. Uh, thank you very much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you want to support this sort of content, my Patreon's linked below, as is my social media platform, so you can check me out there. Next. We're playing Realm of Chances. Alright, Reach, Score, wait, wait, Arch, Source, War. Oh, yeah, let's do this one. Alright, Bet Against Quick Moving, Bet Against Magic, Ice Shard. All these black. I want whatever the default. Wait, health. Health stats. You have the best health. Let's do it. Alright, move the arrow keys. We attack with the mouse, which is a little bit difficult. That would be WSD. A little bit difficult. A little bit abnormal. Should have been what I used. Oh, wow. He's like really going. Hello, bat. You're dead. Is that like a. Okay. That was an item that I picked up. I like these guys because they're really easy. What's this exclamation point? Oh, it's just an item. Okay. Take you. Can we go out like the side now? Let's just select a new person. Oh, we're really fast. Do we have limited arrows? Doesn't look like it. I like the different characters. I like that we can change in each level. Oh, portal. Next. We're playing rail and right. I'm gonna play single player click tutorial. Oh, there isn't any. Cool. There's a daily challenge though. Play play today's challenge and share your results on Twitter. Sure. Uh, so I need to do what? Connect. Oh, connect these towns. I've messed this up. I've messed this up so bad. I don't even know where I was supposed to connect everyone. I'm also like quite confused about the statue. Just like what angle these are on, I guess. So I just don't really understand. I wish I could rotate them. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be that way. I didn't think that was going to be that way. That straight was correct. I don't know, I really have no idea. I wish the tutorial worked so I could understand a bit better. Negative five. Oh, it's just all of our dead ends are minus five. That's pretty good. All right, factory says, yeah, didn't do well. I guess that player two would also be setting up a town. Next. We're playing Twice Escaped. Their base is demolished, finally your chance to escape. Be aware of their traps, however. Alright, got it. Let's do level one, that sounds like the best level. Oh, fire. Oh, this pushes that up. That was quite cool. You often see buttons or like triggers, but that was an actual thing that we actually had to like push slowly forward. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's a sun. I didn't realize that sun would hurt us. But I guess there's a ball of magma. Yeah, how do we... Huh. I don't really know how to drop the ball in a way that's good for us to pass. Oh, sorry, I just jumped straight up into it. I don't know. Next. We're playing No Second Chances. Let's create our character. Oh, it looks like a sad cowboy. I think, I don't know, this person's fine. I don't know, I'm still cycling through them. Should we do the turtle shirt? Yeah. Okay, right, let's do gaming. <laughs> I'm not going to be good at any of these. 
Hello and welcome to No Second Chances, the quiz show without mercy. That's okay. right, we're bringing you exactly what daytime TV has needed for so long. Sounds like a challenge. Let's say hello to today's contender. I would tell you who they are, but they would appear to have put their name badge on upside down. Well, surely this isn't at all a moment of things to come. You have chosen the category game. Very well. I'm probably not Let's good. See who will be your well, it is I like the voice acting. Might as well get this over with. John, Gabby, Linda, Carl, Fan, Fifty One, and Batgirl so, Zoe. Let's get started with our first question. Sid Meier is the mastermind behind which long-running? Oh, series? no idea. I mean, Sid is just right, Sims. Let's see everyone's answers. And the correct answer oh, is. Oh, two probably. Sid, yeah, okay. Oh no. Your answer was wrong. You know oh, that's this? it. No second chances. Thank you for participating. We will inform your next of kin. Oh, we both died. Uh, maybe read a book. Cool, great, good chat. <laughs> next, we're playing Torch Runner. A D W. Cool. No arrow keys. A bunch of these arrow keys. Oh, we don't move very fast. We have to build up speed. Right, I didn't expect that enemy to just run at us. We're on to a different game though, this is fun. Bum, bum. Oh. oh, I got back to my heart, okay. Although, yeah, I didn't actually build up enough speed basically to jump. Oh, I'm dead. No second chances, okay. I think this is an interesting concept. I think the game itself is a challenge. Alright, oh, see, I don't have enough momentum there. I really don't. I like this bird thing. Oh, nice. Okay, next. We're playing Deck Clicker. Plunge into Deck. Sounds about right. I have to click a thousand times, yeah? I don't like the fact that there's a countdown. How fast I can actually click, so. Oh no, it seems someone cannot manage to cope with their deads. Okay, I'm ready to give you a second chance. Sign another contract with me, and if you feel, fulfill it, so me, yeah, I will help you. Okay. Alright, so I actually have 100 coins. I have to collect 199? Okay. I have to get 1,000 though for my debt to be forgiven, and I don't think I'm gonna get 199. Yeah, I didn't do it. Okay, completed a mission. I've got a lot of coins. But I'm obviously not gonna make it again. Oh, okay. Alright, 75. Pay for a good job. Collect 675. Okay. I'm glad that you can take breaks. Ugh, we're so close to a thousand as well. Oh, gosh. Wait, what? Follow the objectives for five seconds. Okay. Mission completed. It's nice to deal with you, but for now on, I do not get into debt. Oh, I think I actually made it. Okay. Next. We're playing no safety net. All right. So left click the red circles. So I guess we gotta do this. Boom. Oh no. Okay. You fell from the tree and hurt yourself really badly. All your arms and legs are injured and have been replaced by prosthetics. No matter how hard I fall, these limbs are now indestructible. With this newfound durability, you get a job cleaning vegetation off rocks and climbing walls. Clean enough and you might just be able to afford fancier limbs. Collect objects, turn cash, spend cash on upgrades. Right, so I'm supposed to die. So we need vegetation. There's vegetation. Oh, I guess I need to... Whoop. There's a lot of limbs to move. I'm gonna actually hide the controls. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, move that arm. Go back, 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 flip. Let's look at the shop. Oh, there's a thing there. <laughs> Click here to upgrade. Click here to upgrade. I have five points. Oh, I don't have enough. Pretty sure I died though. <laughs> Next. We're playing Midnight Movie. 
Which, like, I don't know, scary, but also frozen. <laughs> okay, unfrozen. Ah, uh, it's arrow keys to move, but mouse to look around. Okay, no problem. Went to the movies yesterday. Almost went to the movies again tonight, but decided to actually do some stuff. Work stuff. We did Sunday, but I didn't really work Friday, and I'm going out tomorrow. Didn't really record Friday, and I'm going out tomorrow, so. E.T. So is just a bunch of movies. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest, except exploring this very big movie theater. Toilets, beautiful. No doors, but you know, we can pretend that's fine. Stairs. Or ramps. Do we have a good seat? Dan O'Reilly always picks the seat for us, and he always picks back row center. So like right about here. That's Dan O'Reilly's favorite seat. Do we just watch a movie? Huh. It's about to jam. I was just there. Oh, it's like a little movie of me walking around. That's uh, creepy. Next. We're playing The Secrets of a Small Town. So, the description of this game did, for the record, say, This game's not finished and not ready. But we're playing it anyway, uh, because it was still some minutes, so I guess we're gonna play it. Also said some notes about 1st Street and 11th Street and 12th Street. I don't actually know how to go into all of the doors, so maybe we just have, like, a town right now? I don't really know. I mean, that one's blinking. That floor is blinking. Maybe that's fine, though. They've definitely built a town, which is a good start. I like the idea of a detective game. And I do hope they continue it, I suppose. Let's go to First Street. It'd be good to get more story and stuff. Be a real detective. Next. We're playing... Aw, heck. You've died and you are a terrible person. The Lord of the Underworld has decided to give you a second chance. He says if you can collect enough coins, we buy your freedom. There's a catch. The only way to get coins is to kill other demon souls and collect coins from them. This would be okay, but killing is a bad deed will cause you to travel further down the path of evil. Fall too far and it's straight to heck. Can you win your freedom? Alright, WSD, attack with mouse, cast fireball with rice mouse, shift to hold... Focus. The dungeon shines where you can get you can get health, mana, and mortality. Shrines. Okay, reach for the mortalities. Oh, look at it. We can pick different sins. Let's do a sin's greed. That's fitting. I mean, my sin would definitely be eating. <laughs> it's like gluttony. Not a big fan of like turning mainly because my attack is right in front of me and like to turn is really difficult do you like my knockback please die oh you got me you did well there's two in here there's three in here and they're fighting each other are they actually losing health though and if i kill one will i get two coins Oh they, oh, they took it. They took my coin. You guys, don't take my coin. They're greed, like me. I killed someone, but I didn't get the coin. Right, let's get out of there, because I like being in the corner. But they're not leaving the corner. Did I get the... I haven't got another... I only got two... I killed more people than this. Mm, cheaters. Next. We're playing once more into the void. Click to play, WSD to move, aim with mouse, left mouse button to fire, it takes 200 hits to kill the boss, you can only take one. I mean, that's fair, right? Is there any way we could like get two in at once? Yeah, I guess if we come closer we can get oh, all three in. What are these eyes that are just floating around? Oh, we don't want them! Oh, sorry, I looked at them and thought we did. This is going to take a lot of hits. We just need to keep going. 
I guess as long as they're always being hit in the background by two to three blasts, that's good. Which is what we're trying to do. Oh, they, they spawned it right on top of me. I do wish there was a counter. It does feel difficult without one. I guess you really can't be close to it. Next. We're playing Metapsychosis. It does say that you should play the game with a friend, but there's also a chat box, and I'm just kind of confused. Uh, this is a turn-based two-player game. The other option with AI to bring men play with another person you're playing. You want to keep a chat program open. What if my friend's in here? Start the game, and I'll set you the code. Okay, you start a game, and you'll set the code later. Tell your friend option one. Don't share your screen. Local co-op. Only one play at a time. Look at the screen. Oh, I guess, I guess option one. I guess option one. Right, so I picked option two, and I'm hoping Dan will pick option one. He's downstairs, so. Determining perpetrator responsible for species annihilation. Determine the Netullian species. Determine plutonium weakness causing the annihilation. Determine fail to communicate. Release second chance representative one. Alright, so this is me. Unfortunately, the species have been wiped out due to an aggressive relationship with Neptulians. Like many other species, the Plutonians have set up an insurance with us. In the spaceship, you will find the machine room that enables you to review the species. In the Plutonium case, that means you need to demonstrate capacity to communicate. For this purpose, we have set up a special testing facility on the ship. When walking around, pay close attention to anything you see in your environment. Then return to sleep in the cryo chamber. While in the cryo chamber, you can communicate your discoveries to another member of your species. Only effect efficient communication will give you access to the machine room. Dumber pad. I don't know the passcode. So I cannot get out. No. No. No, okay. I don't know, maybe. Numpad. I don't know. <laughs> Incorrect password. Okay. I guess this would be my friend's turn. So I'd have to give this code to another player. Oh, it doesn't let me copy it, though. Okay, copy to clipboard, right? Now I've sent him the code, he's entered it, and it's been good. It's not actually the code on the screen, it's like has a bunch of equals at the end, which gets copied when you click it. Um, and so he's gonna do his turn, and I obviously can't show you that. And then it'll be my turn again, we're communicating through an online chat, so that's fine, it says to do that. And we just need to wait. Now I got my code, I have to enter this box, it's a bit cut off. Invalid code, okay, one sec. Sorry, my recording software is in the way, so... Alright, no. What can I do yet? Number pad. I still don't know what I'm meant to do. GW17... I don't know what he did, because he didn't talk to me, really. He just gave me a code. Hmm. I'm unsure. I think this is a clever idea, though. Next. We're playing Grand Theft Old Timer, it's a two player game. Dan's playing with a controller, I'm playing with a keyboard. I'm hot pink. Density, I wanna play green. Oh, that's like that. How do we start? Shift. How do you start? A. A, cool. Ugh. <laughs> Already behind. I like these arrows to us where to go. Do you just fall? Yeah. Ah, oh, same. Ooh. How do I even get up? Oh, I just fell off again. Definitely a tricky course. I like how many paths there are. I might be able to come and nudge you. No, no, that's fine. I've started moving and stuff. The mini map is alright, except. Oh, didn't see that. <laughs> Except you can't tell, like, the height. I can't tell very easily the height of anything. Oh, next. Last but certainly not least, we're playing Fighting After Death. Um, we're two players. Well, I'll be this one. Which character do you want? You can't use a control right I'll, now. Which character do you I'll want? be, uh, let's go for Master Killer. Cool. This one. I think your arrow keys. Oh wait, wait. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'll switch. Oh okay. I'll come. You up. have to come over to the other side. Control seems to be my tag. Oh, I'm just running now. 
You're not running? I'm the girl. Double damage. That that chest did something. How do you attack? Oh, I think I, I did it. Cool. I'm dead now, so I will kill you. Don't haunt me. Oh, oh, I'm doing it right now. This is haunting. Don't haunt me. Maybe get a chest. Uh, yeah. I got a chest now. I'm blinking. I've got to figure out the attack button. I think it's control. Double damage. Control doesn't do anything for me. Need to shift. Shift. Shift doesn't do anything. Oh, they told us controls for like player three and four, but definitely not player one. And it doesn't seem to actually end the game when anyone dies. But the graphics are nice. Yeah, I have moves. I'm you get health if you run into the chests. Oh, that's great. I don't know how to attack though, so. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Always put your controls on your game page. Double damage. <laughs> Bye.